हेलो असलम पाकिस्तान वेलकम टू अंकल स्टॉक शो और खुश आमदीद आज एक नए मौजू के साथ आपके लिए हाजिर हैं अंकल जो मुख्तलि टॉपिक्स के ऊपर अपनी माहराना गुफ्तु करते हैं और अपनी राय देते हैं आज मैं अंकल से कहूँगा कि अंकल ये जो गज़ा में इसराइल और गज़ा की जो वार हो रही है फ़लस्तीन की इसमें जो काफ़ी लोग जहाँ बहाक हो गए इस तरफ से भी और उस तरफ से भी तो आप इस वार में आप क्या पैगाम देना चाहते हैं दुनिया को क्या पैगाम देना चाहते हैं मुसलमान ममालिक को इसराइल को अमेरिका को क्या पैगाम देना चाहते हैं जी अंकल असलकुम पाकिस्तान असलकुम तहर फारूकी मैं इसको इंग्लिश में शुरू करूँगा इट्स फॉर द इंटरनेशनल क्राउड एंड सो इट्स फॉर पाकिस्तान एज वेल बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग द करेंट इंटरनेशनल अफेयर विच आर वेरी डेलीकेट राइट नाउ द वॉर जस्ट द वर्ल्ड वॉर आई डोंट लाइक इट दैट्स माई ओपिनियन यू एग्री विद इट और यू डोंट एग्री इट्स योर टिप killing people killing women killing kids from any side is detestable i do not agree what you need in the philosophy as a human being is the respect of another fellow man it could be muslim christian Jew or non-believer, atheist. I don't care. It could be Hindu. It could be Buddhist. It could be Sikh. You understand? Religious harmony. Do you understand the word harmony? What harmony means? Harmony means. peaceful way to compromise and peaceful way to settle things and peaceful way to understand things thinking on common benefits and common grounds where the conflict is start you just don't follow it you just simply drop it you understand so it could be a jew they are the followers of a prophet like hazrat musa alayhi salam do you think it's a joke people who follow hazrat musa could be a joke i don't think so same as with the muslim we respect our prophet peace be upon him a hazrat sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam and we respect our beloved prophet christ hazrat isa alayhi salam we respect david hazrat daud alayhi salam oh bhai what i am trying to say is stop the slaughter stop the killing it's not the time to think who is right or wrong don't misguide people you muslim are you listening the muslim countries you want to make ittihad unity okay to vanish israel then after that what after that what you win then after that what you have killed the human you have destroyed the upcoming generations from any other religion the women you did not respect anything the animals the belongings the resources you want to do that but let me clear this we should always support the two states solution between these two countries that is the only solution Donald Trump was right the United States president he was completely right this bush 
sorry, this Biden is not clear on his ideas. He sometimes favors Israel in a wrong with the wrong additive. He should stop that, the U.S. president. Palestine are not less than the Jews of Israel. They're almost brothers with two different religions, same customs, same food, and so many things together, same kind of race. Why don't you understand how to settle a conflict without a fight, without a battle, without a slaughter? without spreading blood, without cutting heads, hating each other to the point you don't want to see each other's face, less you want to talk or sit down like civilized people. You are Muslim, she is a Jew or he is a Jew and he is a Christian or he is a non-believer. You are first to respect the humanity. Do you ever want to understand the noblest message of the Master, God, Lord, Allah? Huh? No, you don't understand. You're sick. Our world is sick. This unity of Muslim uh, countries. To what? To cut somebody else's head or slaughter them or kill their children? No, I would not support it. This is not my war, okay? Because I don't like war anywhere in the world. Forget about Israel or Palestine. Stop the war. Stop bombing. Stop killing. Stop the hatred. You are not sent to this world to hate each other. Why don't you offer a brotherhood? Why don't you explain in a loving manner to the most severe and, uh, enemy of yours? People can change. Don't ever forget that. People can change. It could be a Jew. Talking about our brother, Turkey. Our mouth dries up talking all the time, Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. They recognized Israel in 1948, the, the, the year Israel was, came into existence. Why would you do that? If you had any, if you have such a big conflict with the Jews, why did not you support the Muslim community at that time? Because you were interested in doing business or offering them brotherhood. I don't mind. If you have recognized Israel from that time, I don't mind. And how about the beaches in your country? How about the casinos? How about the free liquor throwing all around Turkey? At the airports, at the airport VIP rooms, at the airport VIP salons. You're selling all kind of liquors, eating haram. What kind of Muslims are you, brothers? Or the gone? Don't be a hypocrite. Do something like a gentleman. Doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Christian or a Jew. Be a gentleman. You talk about it. In the morning something, in the afternoon something, and the next day another thing. Now you, you are saying that we want to take our uh, embassy out of Israel to support the, the Muslim cause, to support the cause of Palestine. Why did you make your embassy in Israel in the first place? if you had that conflict. So watch out. Our jihad of Muslims start with our own brothers. We call Turkey our brother. They prefer to be called European. They prefer to be called with the European culture. The Muslim girl and the Christian girls are walking at the beach with the same short bikini. Huh? Hey, you Muslims, don't you ever want to learn? Where is your intelligence? To find out who is right and what is the truth behind the curtain. 
who is a mullah and half mullah and half alim and a scholar of Islam, they should spread the message of peace. This message doesn't stay here. It's for the Jews as well. You have done so many things wrong with the Palestinians. You should be ashamed of yourself. Israel, I'm talking to you now. You should be. Netanyahu, you should be ashamed of yourself. You have hate for the Muslims. Don't do that. I have already criticized my people. If you are ever going to listen to my video. Because I believe in honesty. That's the first property you should have. You should not be a liar. You should not be a hypocrite. We have nothing against Israel. We can embrace like brothers. Because humans are brothers. World Zindabad. Conflict Murdabad. Peace Zindabad. Long live peace. Let's finish the conflict and live like a real fellow man. Philosophy, ideologies, religion for harmony, not for wars, not for conflict. If Muslim wants to do any improvement in their system or in their attitude or in their culture, they should start from their own house and then criticize or have war with somebody else. There are so many difficulties in defining our religion, Islam, to the point that the world can really receive your message, that you really want to spread this great teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You say something and you just do the contrary. What kind of hypocrisy you are spreading all around the world being a Muslim? Stop it. Stop it. I'm not hopeless. The message is clear for the Israel, for Turkey. We call them our brother. The Turkey is like Europe. The culture is like Europe. The culture is like Christians, Jews. They don't look even Muslim. Unbelievable. In the country like Pakistan, these people are sleeping. We have the worst of the worst crowd of the world. The most ignorant Muslim from the world is a Pakistan. Because he believes every wrong which is not the part of Islam. Khuda is goodbye world now. My message is for peace. Don't take it wrong and don't exploit it and don't make any wrong comment or publicity on this message because it's coming from my heart and I believe in the love of the human. Love and forgive. Hazrat Isa, Prophet Isa, Jesus, you love and you forgive. You don't need any other message. Thank you, world. Good afternoon.